welcome to the course on rf transceivers unit 1 cmos physics transceiver specifications and architectures topic is transceiver architecture homodyne receiver heterodyne receiver and image reject receiver so the objective of this presentation is to discuss about various type of receiver structure such as homodyne receiver heterodyne receiver image reject receiver low if receiver so in this presentation we will see the architecture of all these receiver and then uh, concept of this receiver and then advantage and disadvantage of this different type of receivers homodyne receiver homodyne receiver is also known as direct conversion receiver or synchrodyne receiver or zero if receiver so in this receiver the rf signal is directly down converted to the message signal without using any intermediate frequency so we are using local oscillator whose frequency is identical to the carrier frequency so that the carrier rf frequency is directly down converted to the message signal frequency so in this architecture uh, we will use local oscillator whose frequency is same as the rf frequency or the station frequency or incoming frequency at the receiver side so first the incoming signal is passed through band pass filter to allow a specific range of frequency then it is passed through low noise amplifier to amplify the signal without adding additional noise we are using low noise amplifier then for down conversion always we will use either synchronous detection or asynchronous detection in this case we are using synchronous detection that means the received signal will be multiplied with the local oscillator frequency in order to down convert the the original message signal from the carrier frequency then it has to be passed through the low pass filter so here we are using two channel in uh, in phase channel and quarter quadrature channel separately so the in phase component will be multiplied with cosine omega t then the quadrature component will be multiplied with sin omega lot so what is the advantage of this homodyne receiver so it is a very simple receiver because it is directly down converting the rf signal into a corresponding message frequency signal so it is simple to implement and it in involves only fewer components so that it is cost of cost effective and easy to manufacture then it is having low power consumption as it is involving very less amount of component it consumes less power so that it can be easily used in the battery powered or energy efficient devices then wide bandwidth these these type of receiver can be operated over a wide bandwidth uh, so that uh, this receiver is suitable for handling large range of frequencies reception the disadvantage of this receiver is image interference so quickly we'll see what is the image signal for a corresponding message signal so now we'll see the concept of message signal whenever we receive some or of signal that will be multiplied with the local oscillator signal then uh, either it will be converted to if or directly it will be converted into the corresponding message signal say see i am having some signal at the station frequency fs okay so this this fm or the this is the mixer the output of the mixer 
output of the mixer is always plus or minus fs plus or minus flo local oscillator frequency for a moment uh, we will assume that the local oscillator frequency is greater than the station frequency so we have to increase the local oscillator frequency such that the difference becomes fm so the output of the mixer will be fm is equal to fs minus flo that means for a fixed station frequency we have to modify the local oscillator frequency such that the output of the mixer is same as fm now what happens there is a another signal for the same station frequency that we will call it as a image frequency for the corresponding station so along with this original message signal this image signal also we will be receiving say for example there is another signal in the space that is having uh, fs plus some to if or otherwise we will assume that there is some image signal that frequency is greater than flo now what will happen the difference between these two there will be some frequency image frequency for which the difference is same as fm because here we are using plus or minus in all the places so what will happen we will get the image frequency so there will be some signal some image signal such that the for the same local oscillator frequency we will get the we will get the signal in the message but this signal is not the original demodulated signal it is due to the image so the, now what will happen um our aim is to recover the information from the station frequency so along with that we will also recovering the information from the image signal that is available in the free space that is the image signal concept so this uh, uh, the homodyne receiver is having less capability to handle with the images so it leads to the signal distortion and then it reduces the selectivity selectivity in the sense how effectively we are recovering a particular channel by rejecting the other channel so when we allow the image then what happens automatically the selectivity becomes poor then dc offset is the another problem because we are directly we are demodulating the signal so at the output of the demodulator there will be the constant offset so that will lead to the extra power consumption so ultimately it will degrade the performance of the receiver and it is having narrow dynamic range so uh, that means uh, it cannot handle the signal with large power levels then interference issues uh, as it is already having image rejection problem so it will be more susceptible to the external interferences so uh, that can create the spurious signals at the output of the receiver so next uh, heterodrain receiver this is a two stage conversion heterodrain here instead of single stage we, we will use two stage conversion and also it will reject the image image rejection it is having image rejection capability this heterodrain receiver is also having image rejection capability so the the principle of the heterodrain receiver involves mixing of the rf signal with the local oscillator signal such that to produce the intermediate frequency signal to produce intermediate frequency signal not directly the message signal say for example whenever we are having some signal at some carrier frequency first uh, it will be down converted to some if frequency or otherwise see i am having 
signal at, at the receiver side i am having signal around some carrier ultimately this information has to be down converted to the base band like this base band with maximum signal frequency like this yeah from to the base band it has to be down converted to the base band now what will happen instead of directly down con if you do the direct down conversion that is single step conversion homodyne receiver homodyne receiver will do the direct conversion from fc to fm in case of image sorry in case of heterodyne receiver what will happen instead of directly down converting any carrier's frequency will be down converted to the intermediate frequency then it will be demodulated to the message frequency here i was taken simple example for fc this fc can be any any station frequency fs because different station will have different carrier frequency uh, mostly they are all adjacent together adjacent to each other so in this process we have to change the local oscillator frequency in such a way the difference between the local oscillator frequency and then the station frequencies provides the provides the intermediate frequency so we have to adjust the local oscillator frequency such that what uh, station we want to demodulate accordingly we have to adjust the fl then the corresponding station will be demodulated to intermediate frequency down converted to intermediate frequency later we have to demodulate so this is uh, homodyne receiver homodyne receiver this concept we we'll call it as a heterodyne receiver receiver so this is the architecture of the heterodyne receiver the antenna rf filter and rf amplifier mixer then local oscillator as we are down converting to intermediate frequency if we are having if stage later than after that only we have to use demodulator demodulator so what is the purpose of this or a filter only or a filter and or a amplifier this filter or a filter is a band pass filter we want to allow only certain range of frequency say for example if we are using am communication this filter has to allow only am signals inside the inside the band pass filter similarly if it is a fm communication the band pass filter has to be designed such that it has to allow only fm range signal inside the receiver then it has to be amplified then it has to be mixed with the mixer say this is the local oscillator we have to vary the local oscillator frequency to such a way the difference between fs and fl is high f so the one thing here is any station frequency will be down converted to high f then it will be demodulated so what happens here the job of the demodulator becomes simple signal processing becomes simple and also it is having many other advantages like selectivity and then image rejection capability so all that we will see now so what is the advantages of heterodyne receiver it is having superior selectivity why it is having superior selectivity because the if is fixed once the if is fixed say uh if you want to design any system it will have q factor q is equal to f not divided by bandwidth after down conversion this f not is same as if and then bandwidth for any communication bandwidth is fixed and then we are also fixing if then q is fixed so that we can design a perfect filters at the receiver side if if is not fixed if if is varying what will happen if if is varying even though the bandwidth fix the q will vary again it is difficult to design a circuit with variable q factor so as it is if is fixed in this case q is also fixed so so we can design a very good filter so it will provide the better selectivity what is selectivity selectivity in the sense say we are having many stations when we want to receive a particular station how effectively we are removing the we are rejecting the other stations 
okay so if our circuit queue factor is not correct say if if q factor is not correct what will happen even though the if is fixed if it is if it is not correct if it is varying then what will happen the bandwidth will vary that means it will allow the adjacent channels inside the filter so it is having superior selectivity and it is having image reduced image interference by by so it is having better image rejection capability so that means uh, the uh, the image interference will be very less and then it is having very high sensitivity once it is having very high sensitivity very weak signals also will be detected by the receiver and then the dynamic range is high so it can handle signal power with a larger amount of signal power easier filtering already we have seen why here yeah, the design of filter is very easy because if frequency is fixed so very easily we can design the filter then how we are how here we are rejecting the images particularly in case of a dot and receiver so the image frequency f s plus 2 if so if for any particular station the corresponding image station will follow this formula the image signal is equal to fs plus 2 if so now before mixing stage we will use band pass filter then mixer then mixer say for example what is the purpose of this band pass filter to allow a certain range of frequencies say for example if it is a fm it has to allow 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz so now we will be we have to fix if we have to fix if in such a way that the image frequency goes out of band so if you fix if in such a way that image goes out of band means definitely that image signal will be rejected by the band pass filter so then we will not have, a, have any image problem at the receiver side so once if you are not rejecting properly then definitely it will be mixed with the original station then it will create a problem at the demodulation side the original message signal cannot be recovered so by properly choosing the if we can reject the image so again if can be low or high again it will have its own consequences if 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 is high filter design become uh, very uh, image rejection capability will increase but the design of filter is difficult if if is low filter design is easy but image rejection capability will reduce so what is the disadvantage of the electrode uh, and receiver it is having high complexity because here we are using two stage conversion so we need minimum two local oscillators then calibration challenges so very precisely we have to uh, fix the local oscillator frequency without any carrier or frequency offset the another problem is local oscillator phase noise if the local oscillator signal is uh, creating different phases at different time then that will have a uh, that will have the effect on received demodulator signal that means it will create disturbance at the demodulated signal then frequency drift even though there is some small frequency drift at the local oscillator will create uh, significant interference or distortion at the received recovered message signal then image reject receiver already eroded and receiver is having image rejection capability uh, but here uh, we are trying to completely reject the image by means of signal processing so by using complex signal processing completely we'll try to eliminate the image frequency so for that we are using iq mixer in phase and quadrature mixer and then phase shifting concept so see here the incoming signal is multiplied by the local oscillator signal sin omega lot and then cos omega lot 
then this is the in phase in phase mixing this is the quadrature phase mixing then it is passed through low pass filter only the quadrature component is phase shifted at 90 degree so uh, the in phase component is not phase shifted so in this process what will happen the image signal because there is some relationship between the image signal and the station frequency fs plus 2 if there is some relationship between image signal and original signal now what will happen once we do this kind of signal processing the image signal will cancel out okay when we add the output of these two things the image signal will cancel out only we will get the station frequency so by using the image reject receiver completely we can eliminate the image signal so it is having very high image frequency elimination improved signal quality once we reject the image means the interference due to the image will reduce and it is having better selectivity and again we can use this uh, kind of receiver in a crowded frequency environments disadvantage of image reject receiver it is complex and expensive it consumes high power because we are using two stages of two different parallel stage of mixer then imperfect image rejection achieving perfect image rejection is difficult why because uh, why it is difficult because providing 90 degree phase shift for all frequency range is highly difficult because this phase shifter is itself is a frequency dependent okay so when we design a phase shifter it will provide 90 degree phase shift for some frequencies for and once if you keep on changing the frequency it may not provide 90 degree phase shift then again uh, instead of rejecting the image we may be introducing the images so it is having uh, imperfect image rejection in case if you are not able to provide perfect 90 degree phase shift for entire range of frequencies again sensitivity to the component variation if there is any changes again we may not provide the proper phase shift again we may not achieve the desired performance low if architecture low if architecture is same as homodyne architecture only here is if will be very very low that to close to zero if if is zero directly it is a homodyne receiver if if is very very low it is low if architecture so the incoming signal down converted to intermediate frequency but that intermediate frequency is very close to zero that is base band so the rf signal is mixed with the local oscillator signal again passed through low pass filter and then it is converted into digital format mostly this kind of architecture is useful uh, for digital uh, to work with the digital signals because here we are using adc as it is at a very low level we can use adc for digital conversion advantage of low if architecture improved image rejection again filtering and amplification is simplified already i told you whenever if is less uh, very easily circuit can be designed so the design of filter becomes simple then it is having better immunity to adjacent channel interference so reduced interference and then mainly the direct sampling and digital processing because as we are operating near to the base band so very low frequency so directly we can use along with the sampling and digital signal processing so mostly this kind of architecture is useful for software defined radios disadvantage in here also we are having image rejection challenges because once if you reduce if the image interference of image will increase so it is having image rejection challenges then dc offset and 1 by f noise we know that the effect of 1 by f noise is more whenever we are operating at low frequencies then dc offset because we are close to zero so the problem of dc offset also will occur then it is having narrow bandwidth 
limitation then higher sensitivity to the non linearity these are all the disadvantage of low if architecture reference is sort of microelectronics book by razavi thank you